What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and sorry I haven't been uh, having quite as many videos lately as I used to, um, but just haven't been playing quite as much scrolls. Uh, today I'm gonna do a judgment video. I did get uh, the my thirteenth number one weekly winner badge uh, for this week. Me and Donkey have really been locking in number one and two the past few weeks or months. I don't know. So, oh no, 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 we're not doing that. We're gonna do judgment today. So let's see. So far, I'll just start taking, I think, creatures. Over th all the rallies, great. I'm going to start with the creatures. Ripper. Uh, I like Kindle Ranger more than Frostbeard. Oblivion Seeker is a huge, um, a really, really nice creature. Now, Outcast Rebel. Cradle like Outcast. Hmm. This is going to be tough. Clandestine Orchard? Sure. Okay, so we got... It looks like we have growth stuff. We have a turn to nature, which is really nice. So then I have a roasted bean potion, which could be, which be, could be in any deck. But I'm not getting, like, things in one faction, though. Let's go for the champion or the roasted bean potion. Uh, roasted bean potion. Storm knight. Hard marksman. Eh. Because I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. All right. Looks like energy doesn't look too bad. I have a tempest river down there. Plating here. Uh, take a horn rate. Sarn Omelette just doesn't have a high chance of working in judgment. Alright, look, good, looks good. Energy looks like it's okay. Spark or proximity charge? I'd rather just straight up have a spark to kill something. Alright, yeah, energy looks like it could work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, judgment, for giving me decent energy scrolls. Okay, we're getting, we're getting a nice string of energy stuff, and now, alright, we're gonna get, wow, look at all these energy four drops. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, we're pushing hard for energy here. Do I take the marksman or the Ekamaton? I already have like a bunch of marksmen, but marksmen are awesome. I like marksmen. It's not a huge chance. Ekamaton. Yeah, we already have so many marksmen. I'll take the Ekamaton there. Uh, I could I could splash. Order. Another proximity charge. Feedback jolt now, and I'll take the blast strike over the electrify. Corrode because who knows? I don't know. Husk. Another feedback jolt. This because I don't know why. Ash runner. Garlic outcast or siege cracker. Do I want the three three vanilla or the guy that can deal a lot of damage to idols? I'll take the three three. I know mean, he's not vanilla, but you know what I mean. Bombard. I don't know if I'll use that though. I mean, I do have the auto range creatures, the hired marksman. Uh, Vitriol Aura, sure. End of reason, that could be fun. I'll take the creature, I'll take the tool initiate. Because I would like more creatures. Another Blast Strike. Inferno Blast, ooh, two Bombards and another Tempest. So many energy four drops. Usually energy is always the three drops, like Boom Reavers. That's another decent creature I could take. Uh, that, that. Alright, tool initiate. Boom Reaver, wow, look at this row, look at the cost. Um, I don't know, I guess Ilan Vital, I'm taking the smallest thing here. Because we're looking at stuff we could possibly splash. So Lockling Brood, and I guess a useless contraption. So are we gonna be able to get mono energy? It looks like we will. Um, this looks like an okay deck, not amazing, but it's wow, very aggressive. My highest cost is four. So with that said, I don't think Vicious Strike is gonna do a lot. And do I wanna keep the rest? 15 creatures, it's fine. Four, four, four. I guess I have to get to four resources and start playing at one thing per turn. I don't see end of reason really doing much. I have a corrode for the speed. Uh, I mean, you're not that good. In this deck, I have no way of increasing attack. Hmm. Whatever. We're keeping this as it is. Do I really want? What do I really want? Now we have bombards. We don't need all the roast bean potion stuff. 
All right, we're gonna call this uh, ag agro energy. Um, I'm just gonna save this because I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is show the first match of the run uh, in this video, and I will do the rest on stream. And a lot of the stream will be uploaded to the Nerp Streams YouTube channel, so you can go check that out after you watch this video. Uh, so we're against Reicher. Hello and good luck. Have fun to you. I'll mulligan because. Yeah, I don't really want my first creature to be a machine priest at turn three. And this is much better. I can go two, three, four. I'll get rid of the early the early bombard because the two drop and the third drop are not ranged. I there's not a high chance that bombard would have helped me early on. So I I do think the bombards would be very valuable though for getting my hired marksmen to attack because they have three countdown, which is very slow. I'll get rid of Actually, one of the Gravelock Outcasts. Gravelock Outcast is not really a big, um, important creature in this deck. I'd rather keep the Feedback Jolt in hand, just in case he, like, gets, like, f a Fleetness, like, Eternal Sword unit just roaming the board. Who knows? And, uh, he goes to two order. There's going to be an Effigy of the Queen pop-up. Um, I'll get rid of the... Feedback jolt at this point because now I have something to play on turn four. So these guys for this for this deck's purpose, they're really vanilla creatures. You could forget about their button abilities. Okay. So next turn, I don't know. Hard marksman or clock library. plays a wing spear I will end of reason end of reason recess the board but I have this creature alive do I want to do that but it cost me a scroll so it's really like a fair trade but he played actually a two drop and a three drop I played two or three but all but I like mine more so I'm, I'm gonna not do the end of reason shenanigans I'm just going to get a hired marksman. I can just play him on the bottom of the board because I can. Clock library. I don't know. I'm not really going to be ramping higher than four, I don't think. So maybe it won't really be necessary getting all those scrolls. I mean, yeah, it's going to be nice. But I'm probably going to end up using it as a nice big five health wall maybe this coming turn. He went up to four, though. He's probably going to be taking a hit from that Gravelock Outcast. So we'll see if he's going to let his Effigy of the Queen die. He might want to protect it because against energy, Effigy of the Queen is really strong. Um, what, what, what removal did I have? I had Spark. Is it, was that it? If it was just Spark, then... Alright, Ducal, Ducal Spearman was a nice wall for him to put up. I will... Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the Clock Library. Blast Strike. Huh. Wait a minute. Can I put Blast Strike on you? Oh, I'm gonna test that out. Will that will that work? For now, I think I'm going to. I don't really want to take so much damage just to kill this one guy who's one attack. So I'm going to kind of run away here. And I'll put you in front. And uh, if he plays a spell, then good. Then I can get some wrap, which I don't really need because I only go to four, but whatever. Maybe I should have played another hired marks under the deck instead of the Akhmaton. So yeah, the hired marks in slow a really high count then. So he it's kinda of annoying. It looks like he will be getting uh, his health increased to four though soon. Okay, he goes for growth. Interesting. And a vitriol aura. So that's going to kill him. Unfortunately, I didn't get any ramp from that. Uh, what I'll do is... I really want to test out that blast strike. I will... Get rid of the gun automaton. And I'll destroy that. I think I want to... Protect, protect you because you're awesome. 
I'll just get a charge coil going at the top of the board. Okay. And no, this tool initiate can't really make the charge coil deal more than one damage to other creatures. It doesn't work like that. So hopefully it doesn't have any way to increase his attack by two to get rid of this Gravelock outcast. So I'll luckily be shooting down this wing spear with my hard marksman. And if I can, I think I'll test out Blast Strike on it. I mean, I do have uh, this charge coil, so I could, could go for like the RNG. Okay. I will... Alright, you're going to have armor no matter what. It steals three fizzles damage, so it will uh, be absorbed by the armor. Okay, we're going to try the Blast Strike thing. And... I'll sacrifice the machine priest. Wait, is, this, is the machine priest in this like just a wall? I think it might be. Oh no, I have a uh, Akamathons. I guess it could come in handy there. So, I mean, I could like shoot the blast strike on the Dugal Spearman. And then you have to get a one third chance of killing it with the charge coil. And no, I'm not going to do that. That is some risky business. Mm. Alright, we're going to play another hard marksman instead of going for the blast strike. The big the big blast strike plays will uh will wait. I'll put him down. And I hit the wrong guy. I don't know, maybe I should have played the time server. But the thing is like wait, I don't have that much energy, so his attack is never really gonna be that high. I mean I wanna play one something every turn. I do think the hired marksman will have more of an impact. He goes to five order. And what are we going to see here? What will we see? Maybe... Alright, he moves up. Maybe going to try to destroy that charge coil. Another way... Alright, got a lot of spiky in the stack. Luckily, I do have a bunch of ranged creatures, though. Um, I think that right now it might be a good time to get a temp server out. I mean, at least it's a creature with armor, which uh, can really take hits. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Lockling Brood. What do I get rid of? Probably the Corrode, I guess. Poor Scrolls. I don't see the reason to go up to more. And I'll just get rid of... I'll deal idle damage. And... Up of the bird. There's no scrolls, so this is the perfect time to get to to get like value out of him. Let's do it. Let's put him up there to protect the charge coil. I don't really mind if this tool initiate dies. And come on, I hit that of the four creatures. Is he going to have a scroll to kill that Lockling Brood? He's going to kill that. Alright, it doesn't look like he is. So the Lockling Brood is going to protect the charge coil and maybe deal a little bit of... Uh, deal a little idle damage before he goes down. And... Plating. Hmm, plating is interesting. Now... What to do, what to do. I think this is where we go to five resources. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh, resources now. There's nothing I really need right this turn. I don't think I have anything to kill this big. Actually, we might have a spark in the deck. Uh, sorry about that. I will. Yeah, I'm not going to deal the one damage. I'd rather deal the idle damage. I think. Stay away from what's going on over here. I could play the plating right now. Yeah, sure could end up saving my life and then uh, I'll move down and I'll also play a useless contraption I want to make keep this thing alive the charge coil 
think its damage is going to start adding up. Even though it's been absorbed by this guy. I've really no way of getting rid of that Count Defender. Like, no way. Very interesting. Both of these guys are attacking. Um, so, yeah. He didn't sacrifice yet. He's probably going to want to look for something to kill this Auckland Brood. I mean, he could just move down. Considering these guys are a threat anyways. Hopefully these guys survive. I really hope he doesn't have any, like, pother. He goes for scrolls. And... What will we see? Okay, he's going to move down there. It's going to deal only one damage to this because the Palladian is going to take most of the damage. And... Is he actually separating? I think he might be separating. Alright. Well, I'm going to actually have some fun here. If I go Blast Strike on one of these guys, do the damage there, that goes to four. I kill that with a Locking Brood, and then I can use the other guy to kill that. Hmm. Looks good. And then should I go for to six to play the Thumbs? No, I'm going to go for Scrolls. Okay, so we're going to... You're going to survive. We're just going to kill these guys. So let's see if this works. Blast Strike? This better work. Yes, it worked. And then I'll just shoot him. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm going to be giving up my Grave Black Outcast here. And I guess I have more resources, so I'll just spark you. Alright, that was a big turn for us. <laughs> Blast Strike, Hired Marksman. The combos. The plays. So... Now what? I guess we protect those Hired Marksmen and we just... Well, and we will... Be able to deal some idle damage. We already did a decent amount of idle damage already. Yeah, I didn't really go to need to go to five resources. He goes for scrolls. Although the Locking Braid isn't really threatening his units directly, it's dealing on idle damage, right? It's gonna go down finally. Actually, well, I mean, it did, did got to get two attacks off, and it's still uh, one scroll for one scroll trade, so I will gladly take that. And there, I'm gonna go down there, and may as well just go to six here. Go to six resources, take you down with the armor too. And you'll be set to take zero damage for this Duke of Infantry because you have a, uh, you have six, uh, you have armor one, and this charge is gonna hit one of these guys. All right, now you go down to uh, being next to something, being hit by the blast strike hired marksman. Looking good. Again, I don't really need to be at six resources though, but it's always nice to be. To be have more resources means you can make bigger plays per turn. Yeah, he's gonna. It's gonna be a while for him to really get a hold on this game. I think I'm in a very good position. All right, so he's gonna deal one damage. All right, he's gonna deal one damage to that guy. And let's see. Boom Reaper. I'm gonna get rid of the Echo Maton. Alright, if some alright, bombard. Bombard. Is that the play? Could go Boom Reaver Bombard, or I can go Bombard with the Bombard and have the temperature reduce the attack. 
I think we're gonna go Boom Reaver Bombard. Yeah, I think I'll go like that. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? I guess I'll go all, I'll go all in the middle. Ooh, what I'll do, I'll be clever and I'll save, I'll save that guy's attack. So that here, I'll, I'll do this here. It's going to be enough to kill you guys and then do that there. And then I also have this times we're attacking next turn. Alright, man, this blast drake coming uh, in handy this match. And I'll probably just take out another idol with this Thomas Reaver. Or actually my first idol. There's gonna be a Storm Knight. I will sacrifice the I'm going to get rid of the proximity charge because I don't really want to clog my board at this point. And I'll just deal 6 damage to this idol. I'm going to hide up here. Yep. And that goes down to 3 health, which is important because my hired marksman can then kill him. <sighs> it would be nice if... Uh, he somehow just gets enchanted so I can get him with a feedback jolt. What did what enchantments did he have? He had Vitriol War in his deck. I'm not sure what other enchantments he had though. That may have been it. Alright, he finally sacrifices for more resources. And there, I'm going to be able to <laughs> get the feedback jolt on him though. Uh, I mean, I'll have to actually play the feedback jolt and something else though. Well, as it stands actually, the charge is going to finish him off. Okay. Now, what do I do here? I can Feedback Jolt and Inferno Blast. Or I can Feedback Jolt and have 50% chance of the charge while hitting it. Yeah, we're just going to kill him. We're going to kill him all we can. Or I can Bombard. I can Bombard. No, we're going to Feedback Jolt. It's gonna deal three damage, and I have fifty percent to kill that, or I'll just inferno blast. So I mean, it's fine. And now you go down to two health, and with both of these guys, all three of these guys attack next turn. Whatever he puts down is just gonna be either shot by these hired marksmen, or we're just gonna win the game by dealing a bunch of damage to this middle idol with this time to run these guys. So Reicher is going to surrender. So GG to him. Um, really controlled that first match so that'll be it for the video uh, I'm not sure I think I might stream the rest of the matches if I did then you can go over and check the nerf streams YouTube channel and one of the videos would say like scrolls uh, rest of judgment run from episode blah 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 so you can go check that out if you want to see the rest of the uh, matches in this run and hopefully it's five wins so like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and keep on scrolling, scrollers. I'll see you all next time.